So what we're seeing here, the latest with now Delta, it's going to weaken as it starts battling more of that wind shear and start that northeasterly turn. And that's going to take it on into parts of Cameron Vermillion parishes as a category two about say sunset tonight, seven o'clock this evening. We'll start seeing that work its way in tropical storm here by one o'clock in the morning. But while it's there, we're going to still be doing with a lot of rough weather overnight here across southeast Louisiana. Some of those bands of rain and feeder bands come feeding into that. That'll continue through the morning hours on Saturday as the storm kind of works its way farther away off to the east of us. Those feeder bands will move over toward Panama City area, heading to Atlanta and parts of the rest of the Florida Panhandle. So not going to be as long of an issue for us because it's going to be moving. So it is moving to the north. Again, landfall this evening will weaken down to a cat two, and again, still looking at a surge winds, heavy rain and tornadoes with this too. So that weakening is not that much, so the impacts are not going to change much. You can see it is moving though from 82 degree water back to about the upper 70 degree water temperatures here immediately along the Louisiana coastline, and that's going to help a little bit with that weakening, but again, not significantly weaken the system. Water levels are going to be not as bad, which is good news from the surge. One to three from the lake to the Mississippi coast, St. Bernard, eastern part of Plaquemine looking at two to four, three to five, western part of Plaquemine to about uh, say poor Fruchon from that point over toward Morgan City, about four to seven feet and then seven to 11 as you go from Morgan City west over towards say Vermillion and Calcasieu parishes there or Cameron Parish, I should say. And you can see winds expected to be 90 to 100 where landfall is and then decreasing down. Baton Rouge could still see 40, 50, 60 mile per hour winds there. But looking at 20 to 30 to maybe 40 mile per hour winds across our area. So we're still going to see some pretty gusty winds across the region. Already seeing some winds kind of pick it up a little bit, but nothing too significant here. But you see down there where the eye is located, the wind gusts over 40, 50 miles per hour. So definitely some strong winds over the Gulf waters. 8 to 10 inches of rain where it's making landfall, but 1 to 3, 1 to 2 across our area. Again, if you're under a downpour, you may see a little bit more than that. So just be prepared for that. And the tornado threat, as mentioned earlier, also level 3 here out of 10, uh, what we're looking at. So that threat index is going to be there, so do be prepared for some tornado warnings out there a little bit later on today.